go. What's up, cousin? Wish popping. What's going on in the life of a virgin for the month of November? <laughs> are y'all having? A, are y'all finally making a damn decision to get what you want? Fuck what they had said, what they said, or how they said it, or how they said that I should have said it. All that shit. Fuck all that. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. This first time you're on my channel? I'm Mocha. Also, this first time you're on my channel? Look out. I cuss. You probably figured that out by now. <laughs> make us a little, make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, right? Goddamn now. Feel free to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the donations, the love. I truly appreciate you. Thank you so very much. From the humblest space ever. All right? Um, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We are dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, however, though. We love. We share. We laugh. We cry. We cuss. We evolve. Positive vibes only. Positive type teams, okay? To the returning subscribers, hey cousin, what's going on, baby? Did you guys miss me? Because I showed Miss Jaw, and I was going to lay Gemini. I said, I bet not. I Listen, them, them damn virgins ain't finna come beat me down. Not during this retrograde. It's been doing enough. I'm not, I, I, I wasn't retrograde ready, me, me personally. You know, my Pisces is still stuck on what to do. The Libra want to hide up under a damn rock. And Aries don't know if I want to cry or fight somebody. So listen, evolving. I'm a will. Work in progress. <laughs> okay? So listen. <laughs> you guys, um, this is not going to resonate with every Virgo. All right? You guys, take what does. Leave the rest. All right? This will be for the summarizing and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of damn Virgo. If you need a personal reason, that information can be found within the description. Let me tell y'all what song came to y'all. <clears throat> I got two of them. Ironically, both of them is by Alicia Keys, and then one of them, oh, I, okay, okay, so this was earlier when I was in the car, but it's, it just came back to me now. Some of y'all feels like, um, you got 24 seconds, you got 24 seconds, shot clock. Some of y'all, somebody better get their shit together, because somebody just showed up for the job, okay? And for some of you all, that person who didn't show up for the damn job, you manifested this person by literally acknowledging your feelings and also facing your fears of being by yourself. For some of you all, this is about you telling the damn truth, okay? Not all y'all be lying, but some of y'all be lying. <laughs> Wish I could do that plies, butterfly. I know when you lying, I can tell by the vibe. <laughs> Listen, Virgo. It's about telling the truth, being honest with yourself first, okay? Because you can't be real with your damn self. You can't be real with nobody, all right? So, also I got, um, I won't tell your secrets, your secrets are safe with me. I will keep your secrets. <laughs> Just think of me as the pages in your diary. Alicia, <laughs> okay? And I got, um, no one, no one, no one can get in the way of what I'm feeling. Okay, so. I feel like, okay, I heard Crosswatcher. So some of y'all, this could be how Crosswatcher feel about they Virgo. They miss the known they Virgo. What you gonna do? Because some of y'all is missing on this person too after having somebody come back and recycling your life to come back and just show you what the fuck you don't want. But for one time, Virgo, just one time, one time, because you fix every damn thing else for everybody else. Just one time. Could you fix it for you? Hmm. Hmm. For some of y'all, this is how your partner feel. I'm about, this is my two-week notice. I was signing my position because I don't know who, I think that was, was that Capricorn? I think that was Capricorn. But listen, all right, we're going to let's talk about it. We're going to get you into your intuitive messages first. I've been talking too damn much. 
this girl is still doing uh these damn reading specials and sending videos, okay? <clears throat> so what I got for you all for the month of November, I got spiritually protected, spiritual gifts, life purpose, career transition, observation, transportation issues resolved, peaceful resolutions, <clears throat> unexpected financial blessings, life partner. Some of you all may be going through something with the throat chakra because it just started, okay? Truths, interception in love, hmm. forgiveness, leadership, karmic releases, soul ties, obsession, past life, surrender control, procrastination, you're safe. Okay? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, girl, I thought I went... Listen, Virgo, let's talk about it, okay? I have to make sure I'm going to give me some glasses this year. I said that last year, huh? Still ain't got my shit together. I don't even think about it, so I can't see. Right, overall energy around the reading. You guys got the nine of hearts, okay? So for some of you all, again, this is about wish fulfillment. Some of y'all are dealing with a damn water sign I'm hearing to drink too fucking much, and you just really about motherfucking tired. You all agree, okay? Some of you all, this has to do with um, others being codependent within your energy. I'm hearing that some of you all, the word distractions, 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 that shit just kept coming about, just how I sat here and rambled. I think that's my Libra side to be talking so damn much. But <clears throat> I just rambled and rambled and rambled. And with that ramble, I know y'all like, Mocha, come on, get to it. Bitch, I've been waiting on you uh, three weeks, bitch. <laughs> that's why you my cousin, because that's how I be feeling too sometimes. <laughs> okay. But listen, so with this, some of you all are focused on what it is that you desire. You're in a very creative space. Some of your, are they, uh, some of your ideas are being divinely guided during this time, okay? For some of you all, trust you. Some of y'all need to start a dream journal right down now because for some of you all, your dreams may be in a space of, very, of lucidity, okay? Some of you all are really needing to cover yourself, like, really, really, really protect your energy, Virgo. I kept hearing narcissists. Some of you guys could be. Um, removing your th this damn thing is moved by itself. I seen it. I'm sorry, y'all. I had a whole moment. But anywho, we in Scorpio. Welcome to Scorpio season. It ain't for the scared. You scared, Virgo? Some of y'all is fucking scared. You think you're crazy. You're not crazy. The other side got some shit to say. For some of you all, you've come to this space of acceptance. And because you've allowed yourself to really get to know your damn self again, you've unlocked some things. You, uh, you're accessing, um... A lot of y'all are coming multidimensional. You're already a multidimensional being, but I feel like for some of you all, spiritually, yes, some of y'all is leaving your damn body. And for some of you all, you really need to ground yourself. Some of y'all may have a hard time focusing when it comes to meditation, because I was going to you, you know, try meditating, but some of y'all are heard no, sis. <clears throat> yeah, some of you guys... um. I don't think I want to get them no, no, no thing. I mean, I, but you know what? I'm not a hater. So, because everything in me, I'm going to do it for y'all. But I'm going to tell y'all this story. This is real, real shit, real story. I couldn't focus on meditating at first either. There is this meditation on YouTube. Now, I don't know who the makers is. That, I don't know. No, no, no bullshit. I really don't know. But no shit. You can really look this up. I know y'all are Virgos. You're going to do it. Okay. But there's this fuck this shit, fuck that shit meditation. And that was my first meditation because that was the only one that I could really connect to that's like really feel how I felt. Like I really think my higher self be like, fuck that shit too. And so, you know, I had to really learn like, um, really that was my shit. So I feel like some of y'all, you know, sometimes you can't start just jumping off the damn porch. Sometimes you gotta, <laughs> y'all see me on Halloween on IG, follow my IG, at mocha underscore love, what's my shit, underscore tarot. But y'all, my Halloween, cause I ain't had time to make had no costume, so I was my alter ego. I'm Mocha the Daddy Slick, okay? <laughs> Welcome to Scorpio season. Let it come out, okay? Listen, I'm cousin. <laughs> okay, I'm somebody's daddy on Halloween. Listen, they lucky I was working, okay? But listen, yeah, that tip, tip, somebody <laughs> tip in, not you. Okay, can you hear? Come on, right up. I guess my damn lead decided Pisces would get distracted too. Ooh. First angel message you guys got, though, victory, archangel, sound of fun. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Again, for some of you all, <clears throat> some of y'all, I, I feel like some of y'all in releasing a situation, 
<laughs> you you feeling as if you're stuck. You're feeling stuck in a situation because some of you all spirit is removing you from a situation where you feel as if, you feel as if you're a karmic crush. Like you stand in a situation not because you're happy, but because you feel as if you're obligated to. So it's kind of taking the passion out of it. Some of y'all are tired of being people's fucking therapist, mama. You want to be happy, not be fucking uh Virgo the damn uh fucking mother love or some damn body. Okay, that's for the twenty five plus. But others of you, um, some of y'all are being divinely guided to make a, to to bring some type of judgment to a situation, take leadership and moving towards some type of compromise or some type of family tie, okay? Others of you, you blowing a whistle on that bullshit. You're receiving some some of y'all have a telepathic connection with somebody and you're and, and <laughs> Virgo, really trust all of your intuitive doubt, like all of your intuitive hints that you're going to be receiving in the month of November. Because for some of you all, you're looking outside of yourself for the answer. The Spirit says the answer is coming right, right from within yourself, but you don't never take time to sit still and sit silent within self. For some of you all. And you will find that space in the month of November. Some of you all are being forced to find that space and allow yourself to embrace and really heal and mend those Men, those trauma. Some of y'all are having to leave. Um, some of y'all are ha okay. Two things. Let me slow the fuck down because Mercury and any water, me and Mercury. Mm. For some of you all, you're having to leave. It's like your contract. You have a soul contract with somebody from a past life. It has expired. Spirit has something better. But for some of you all, this person was a mere aspect of yourself. You're ascending. You've done the work. And somebody else is still focused on the practical side of things. Somebody just, they, 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 don't. it's like the lights is on in the vacant house. Or they just don't fucking get it. Little teeth, teeth. Toot, toot, okay. But you do have victorious movement. You have, victor you have victory going forward, okay. They want you to know that you will be successful. You will be abundant. And for some of you all, this has to do with you making a decision for yourself and not, not seeking this sense of like approval or this sense of or this need of validation outside of yourself. Some of you all, some of y'all love somebody, and spirit is moving you toward this person. However, some of you all feel as if some of y'all just could have to do like with continue with cycles of third party situations. I do feel that this Mercury retrograde is going to bring in the aspect of like tests, like universal tests that are coming in to kind of test your gangster, you know. Are you going to settle like you have in the past out of that fear of, out of that fear of being alone or out of that fear of being by yourself? For some of you all, you really embracing a single life and because you've learned to love yourself and because you've done that work, someone who you have a telepathic connection with, some of y'all just could be a divine masculine, but this person feels the disconnection. And now they wanted to come in. They like, no, I'm going to get right because I really don't want to get left. Some of you all need to cut your act. Like you've separated from a particular person, but you're still doing relationship shit. And this motherfucker not doing no work. And it's a continuous cycle. Your worth. Some of you all, you're attracting somebody who sees you, honey. What you going to do? Bring me to my next message. Archangel Jermiel, Life Review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Recognition, acknowledgement. For some of you all, things are being illuminated. Sun and Scorpio, that's the balance. That's literally balancing the darkness and the light. So you got to really be in tune with your own darkness and be forced to see that shit in order for you to truly deal with it. That ain't no, no shade, no judgment. You know, we don't do that over here. We don't even know that word. Because ain't no right or wrong. It's a lesson. It's an experience. It's how you perceive it. For some of you all, there's a shift in perception around. I keep hearing family. So some of y'all, this has to do with the blending of a family, the mending of a family. Where someone could have denied help or denied having some type of addiction or having some type of issue in the past. This person is, they want to speak up. Listen, I got a problem. I could be real with myself. And it's way deeper. Some of y'all, I'm hearing sexual abuse. Some of y'all, this could have to do with someone being sexually abused, sexually abused as a child. And someone has been li literally like reliving those traumas. 
victimizing other hurt hurt people hurt people victimizing others through their own traumatic experience and for some of you all you've been this sense of like a I, I, I really kind of feel like a punch back like some some of y'all are really dealing with a very projecting ass energy and your eyes are working a little different you see through this motherfucker you a whole liability you a whole distraction i gotta keep it push forward Taking notice of some shit. You're in observation mode. You watch it. But you plotting and you plotting and playing and you're strategizing it. But some move dog. Towards fulfillment. You deserve it, Virgo. Pretty much just what you have for Virgo. For some of you all, you have a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you have a lot of love from this person. For some of you all, if there was no communication, I do feel some of y'all this person could be calling you while they drunk and pouring their damn heart out in the month of November. But I definitely feel like it's going to give you some type of clarity in the situation of why things were standing still. For some of you all, this person could have recently attacked, like, this person could have had, this person could have kids with someone else who could be an air sign or a Sagittarius. You could have, some of y'all just have to do with the family situation, somebody who you got kids with that's a Sagittarius. Which, you guys are coming out of none, you guys are coming out of no communication with somebody. And I feel like you've been patiently waiting for this. Yeah. But I feel like someone, there's a sense of guilt. Someone is kind of trying to tip their damn, they, they trying to they trying to put their toe in, Virgo, just in case it's hot in the motherfucker. You know, they could just tip, get it back out, okay? For some of you all, um, some of y'all may be ending a cycle. Some of y'all are running out of patience with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I keep hearing victimized, victimized. Some of y'all feel like someone is a victim. And they don't take accountability for their own actions, but you kind of see... No shade, sis, bro, cousin. Spirits say they are a reflection of your shadow side that you refuse to see. The wheel. Jumping off the wheel. Yeah. Some of you all, there's a fire sign that wants to stop arguing with you, okay? This could be someone who you, yeah. Damn it. For some of you all, if you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio, if you're married to this person, this person could have also been going through some type of transformation. This person had to fully, I feel like, I feel like this person could have came in offering, you, making you an offer, or this person was loving you from an unhealthy space in the past. This person have endured some type of karma, okay? And I feel like this karma came from, and this person also, trigger, trigger, trigger. Your love reminds, and this could be you or the other person, your love reminds them of a person who they're still having a hard time getting over. So to fully embrace it, they had to really fully go back and release the cycle and truly walk away from it in order to bring you something secure, something solid. So I feel like this is a return, all right? So some of y'all got a some y'all got some damn frogs coming during the rich raid. Some of y'all got some kings. Cause Big Daddy Baby is out here. I like him. The 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 father of pinnacles. Cause that that pinnacle nice. I like him. Me and him, my buddies. That's somebody's daddy right there. Okay. For some of you all, there's justice in the situation. Okay, so some of you all, someone wants to come back and rectify a situation where you have children with this person. Okay. Someone could have also. Some of y'all could find out that somebody was in some type of rehab or some type of hospital facility. This is why they haven't talked to you. Someone could have also been working on some type of sex addiction. I'm here. Someone's, someone's also ready to open up about some type of sexual abuse in the sense of blaming themselves over and over again. Somebody could have also been mentally like, some of y'all, this person is, is going to, some of y'all got some, <laughs> spirit really, not ass, really. Some of y'all is going to find out that your partner likes the same sex. Some of y'all is walking, I did not get this for y'all before, somebody, somebody, Somebody thought that somebody had dipped off to a, to a, to to the opposite sex and it was the same sex. Someone is kind of judging themselves. And I feel like for some of you all, I'm hearing red flags. Some of y'all could also be feeling this intuitively. For some of you all, this is about someone having to release a situation in order to give you this offer. And this person could actually be wanting to come in and put that toe in that water to see how you're feeling. Are you going to be open to the offer? Okay. For some of you all, there's a need for you guys. Some of y'all, it's like some of y'all so damn choosy. 
You have some of y'all got love right in front of your damn face. You're going to be able to see the damn love that's there in front of your face. Some of y'all have a friend that is in love with you. And I feel like you never, you don't look at this person that way. And I feel like they've been, there's a sense of like suffering in silence. But this person also tends to overgive and overextend themselves. And this is where you guys mirror one another's behavior. There's a sense of like harmony or balance coming in a situation. Or I feel like somebody got something to say. They, 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 they're they not going to go out without trying. This person could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. So it also be somebody who you have kids with. Somebody wants to transform a marriage. They want to restart. They want to renew it. They don't want to walk away from their family. They feel really bad. They feel like they abandon you. Whoever this is, they feel that you're very, very, very strong, Virgo. Someone wants to be honest and really open up about, because some of y'all are beating yourself up, judging yourself for a situation coming to an end or that will be coming to an end in November and it has nothing to do with you. For some of you all, I'm hearing mental mental instability. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Pisces as well. If you have a child with the Pisces, this person is wanting to come in and work on co-parenting healthy. They also want to love on you too, Virgo. But I feel like this person is going to move slowly. And I feel like this is a situation that wasn't moving at all. And some of y'all have a Pisces that's on the way to fuck out. Some of y'all with the air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, on the way to fuck out. And I feel like this person is very strategic about doing so. So if you've been getting them intuitive niches that somebody is plotting and planning and scheming behind your back to hit the deck, you might want to listen to yourself and, you know, put your money up and stop. Because whoever this is, I feel like whoever this is, this air sign, this person has been coming up shout a whole lot. That's for a few of you guys. Some of you are this cycle. Yeah, some of y'all. Some of y'all, this your past is coming back to trigger. Well, honestly, they're coming back to assist you with seeing where you still need work at. But for some of you all, some of y'all gonna treat these people like your damn kids. Like you actually, some of y'all gonna look at these people like, what the? What did I see in you? What? No, I was with you, bitch. You, you was, you was. Listen, you was hurt, hurt. Thank God for self-love. For some of you all, because you are being very clear with the universe about what you listen to the universe, I don't want no more lessons. I just want blessings. That's all. And I want this big ass cup. And that's what your intent is. That's what your intent is. And that's just what you're going to get. For some of you all, some of y'all may be quitting a job. Others of you, you may be receiving some type of promotion or raise at a job, okay? For some of you all, um, if things were not, if things were standing still when it comes to some type of offer, the third week in November, some of you guys are going to be hearing from something that you could have recently put out in the last, um, some of y'all could have put this shit out in, in Virgo season. You're hearing back from it now. There was a sense of divine timing, especially after ending one cycle in this, in this new cycle, you're kind of going in. Some of y'all are actually starting your own business as well. There's some type of offer or some of you guys. Could actually be collaborating with another earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, an Aries person. Some of y'all got an Aries person that put you in a third party situation. But I feel like in the past there could have been a tit for tat, but somebody's wanting to come back and compromise, okay? And someone is kind of feeling left out. Finally, like some, some of y'all who are dealing with the, yeah. There's light being shed on. On what on deeper issues that was occurring possibly with an Aries, a Taurus, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody is gonna be happy, Virgo. And I feel like who that somebody? It's me, <laughs> Virgo <laughs> cousin. Like it's me. I'm somebody, sis. All right. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially the sign of Sag Sagittarius, has a, a Sagittarius is tired, y'all. Either you or this Sagittarius wants fulfillment and somebody not going to take anything less than. I feel like there is closure in the situation. And there's a choice to either close the situation all the way completely out in a peaceful and harmonious way. Where you guys can work together as a team. But I feel like one of you guys really want to keep it. Like one of you guys, there's, there's a sense of breaking the cycle. But to be very honest with you, some of y'all, some of y'all, this is, this is some good shit. It's beautiful energy. But for some of y'all, trust what you feel. Trust your gut, your energy, your inner God. Trust that motherfucker. It don't lie. People do. You can't matter. People do people shit. 
I'm from, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm here. I'm from Mars. I'm a Martian. Damn it. For some of you all, um, some of y'all, there's going to be something illuminated around a fire sign. Somebody could have had a, a hidden child. You could be married to this person. Somebody could have actually had a child outside the marriage. There's going to be communication coming in. Mm. Some of y'all could be dealing with the justice. Some of y'all, there could be a marriage that's ending or some type of somebody could be going into business with a this could be the father of their children this person could be Aries Taurus Sagittarius Libra Pisces Leo another Virgo somebody could be going into a business with another person or could have talked about going into business and invested your damn money someone's feeling as if they were robbed or they were robbed from Somebody's fucking. Hmm. Some of y'all gonna find out that the delay and the hold up on some type of money that was invested, the hold up had to possibly do with the Sagittarius and the third party shit, especially if you're married to this person or Libra. Some of y'all is Capricorn. There's some slick shit coming out about some money, man. And I feel like for some of y'all, this has to do with some of y'all, this could actually be like somebody's back child support coming out of some type of business loan or something. And I don't, you know, I don't like talking negative shit, but when I see it, I see it. There's a catalyst, like somebody is coming in or something is coming in for some of y'all around your finances that's connected to you or your spouse. This feels like your spouse's shit or an ex-spouse. Somebody's coming out of ex-communication and I feel like Virgo's going to be like, where the fuck is my money? Nah, I, I don't want none of your sorries. My money. Okay, well, i see you next week, okay? When, what, 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 I need you, what I need you to sign, I need you to sign right here. Are we going to have a whole, because for some of you all, I do feel like this person wants to rectify a situation. This could have happened in the past, but for some of y'all, we're visiting this. To truly heal it, because for some of you all, you didn't get closure in the situation. And some of y'all are going to get the truth in an apology. And an offer to restart because someone's dropping the walls, okay? So I can't wait to do y'all meeting in November. Let me give y'all there some advice, okay? Some of y'all damn water sign want to come back and they want to apologize. They showed their ass, where go they sorry. All right. What's your advice for Virgo for the month of November? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of you, okay. Reprogramming of the subconscious. Some of you guys are staying trapped in a situation and there's a need. Some of y'all gonna be finding your damn voice. For some of you all, this is the I'll fuck what everybody else got to say about how y'all feel about how the fuck I'm feeling, how you feel about how the fuck I'm feeling. To be honest with you, I'm no longer gonna allow you to emotionally manipulate me no more. Or project your bullshit off on me. I'm only trying to control the situation because I feel the need to have to to get some type of clarity from your ass. But you know what? I'm going to break free from this shit because where I was once afraid to move on, I was afraid of want, of, of knowing what the fuck is out there trying to hold on to this shit. I was fighting this damn slowdown, but in the midst of this slowdown, I had a rebirth because I realized I was complacent within myself and blaming myself. So I had to learn to love my damn self and learn to trust and, and in doing so. Did I drop the burdens of your ass because I came to that. Ta-da! It's time to make your ass. You got to go. I'm going to trust. And then moving in that blind faith and surrendering to the aspect of control and trusting the flow of the universe. You ain't stuck. Spirit know what's going on in people's hearts and behind the scenes. This is your fate. If only you trust. And face that monster under your bed, Virgo. All right. Release your burdens. In this damn cycle. Happiness and happiness is faded. Some of y'all bored as fuck. Let it go. It's a burden. It's a part of your transformation. You are the creator of your own destiny. And I talk some of y'all, this is some past life shit. Past life karma. Releasing things. Knowing when to walk away. Self worth. Plan is safe when it comes to business matters. 
Stop being, you don't, you, it, it's A1 steak sauce to be practical. But let everybody see your playful side. You don't got to hide that. Scorpio season, baby. What? Right? Scorpio want to talk to you for their birthday. You know where you feel it. Now, I love y'all. Peace, love, and life. Namaste. I'll see y'all last for the mid-month. Bye, cousins.